the objective of this experiment is to detect the acid radical present in the given inorganic compound by both dry and wet ways. The process of identification of various components in a chemical compounds like elements, radicals and so on is known as the qualitative analysis. The atoms or the group of atoms that act as a single unit during a chemical reaction are known to be radicals. The negatively charged atoms or the group of atoms that comes from acid during the reaction in the salt are known to be acid radicals. For example, nitrate, sulfate, chloride and so on. The positively charged radicals that come from the base during the reaction in the salt are known to be basic radicals. For example, ferric ion, calcium ion and so on. In dry test, the test is performed directly with the sample in dry and solid state. It is also called preliminary test as it does not give conclusive results. In wet test, the test is performed by dissolving the salt in a suitable solvent like water. It is also called a confirmatory test as it gives conclusive results. The apparatus required are Bunsen burner, spatula, test tube holder and test tubes. The chemicals required are salt sample and different chemical reagents like conch sulfuric acid, dilute hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, silver nitrate solution, barium chloride solution, ferrous sulfate freshly prepared solution and copper tonnings. The physical properties of the given salt sample is state, crystalline solid, color, colorless, odor, odorless, and it is soluble in water. Dry tests for acid radicals. Dilute acid test. Take pinch of given salt in a clean and dry test tube. Add few drops of dilute HCl. No gas evolve. It indicates the absence of nitrite, sulfite, carbonate and sulfite ion in the sample. Kong sulfuric acid test. Take pinch of given salt in clean and dry test tube. Add few drops of conch sulfuric acid. No gas was evolved. It indicates the absence of halides like chloride, bromide and iodide. Nitrate test. Take pinch of salt in clean and dry test tube. Add few drops of conch sulfuric acid and few pieces of copper turning. Warm it but never boil. Brown fumes evolves. It indicates the presence of nitrate ion in the given sample. Hence, the reactions involved in the dry test for nitrate ion are the brown gas evolved due to formation of nitrogen dioxide gas. Wet test for acid radical. First, the original solution is prepared by dissolving little amount of the given salt sample into suitable solvent like water. Silver nitrate test. Take 1 ml of original solution in a clean test tube. Add few drops of dilute nitric acid and boil it for some time. Then cool and add few drops of silver nitrate solution. No curdy white precipitate appeared. This indicated the absence of halides. Barium chloride test. Take 1 ml of original solution in a clean test tube. Add few drops of barium chloride solution. No white precipitate appeared. It indicated the absence of sulfate, carbonate, or sulfite ion. Ring test. 
Take 1 ml of original solution in a clean test tube. Add 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. Cool the solution under tap water. Incline the test tube and add freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution through the wall of test tube. A brown ring appeared at the junction of two liquid layers. This indicated the presence of nitrate ion. The reactions involved in the ring test are The nitrate ion reacts with sulfuric acid and ferrous sulfate that results into formation of nitric oxide which then reacts with ferrous sulfate to give nitrosyl ferrous sulfate which is responsible for dark brown ring formation. The freshly prepared saturated solution of ferrous sulfate should be used otherwise the ferrous sulfate oxidizes into ferric sulfate which does not give ring test. Hence the acid radical present in the given salt sample was nitrate ion. Hence the acid radical present in the given inorganic salt can be identified by both dry and wet tests.